So Breath of the Wild has finally released and it's been a few days since I started playing it and I have not been able to put it down. I'm actually pulling myself away from my Switch right now to do this video. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about my first impressions and just a lot of things that I like about it so far and is it worth it? Is it worth $70? Is it DLC? <laughs> as a lot of people are saying. Well, um, I'm gonna make sure this video is spoiler free. I don't don't really like I don't like spoilers and I know a lot of people are just trying to like figure out if they want it or not if they haven't decided to pick it up but before I get started my name is Delaney if this is your first time clicking on my videos welcome I love talking about video games ranting so if you want to talk about video games and be on the side of the little corner of the internet a seat and let's get started so um first I wanted to talk about I got the GameStop pre-order so I did want to show like I got the standard edition of Tears of the Kingdom I do plan on trying to get the collector's edition whenever it becomes available hopefully restocks I have um, it came with this plaque the GameStop pre-order I had to go into the store to pick it up um, and I got my copy shipped to me so I went in store to pick this up it was really it was very easy just had to show that you pre-order on um, this plaque actually is a lot more like a better quality than I realized like it's like a really nice piece of wood and it's like laser imprinted with like the symbols from Tears of the Kingdom. I think it's like a pretty neat um, commemorative thing to have like as a part of the game you know. Um, the only thing is it doesn't have like a thing to hang it up with so I'm going to try to like the glue something to the back of a ribbon or something so they're going to hang it up in my setup or in my room. So um, I'm going to get started. <laughs> I've been playing I feel like I've been playing it for about 10 hours like I finally exited out of this tutorial area so I'm going to talk about purely like literally the first the beginning of the game because that's pretty much where I'm at right now so yeah I've already exited the tutorial area and I'm out to explore the open horizons and pretty much getting acclimated with this new Hyrule that we have encountered so far I my first impression thoughts are I think that this is such a seamless like sequel to Breath of the Wild. A lot of people don't understand like necessarily what a sequel means because I have seen complaints saying how like it basically looks like Breath of the Wild because it's in the same area and the same everything but I would say um, like a sequel usually expands on the story, expands on the characters and lets you see more into their lives, more into how um, everything is going after Iro was saved you know so I think what it's been doing what it's done so well is introducing you back to some of these characters that were in Breath of the Wild that you're familiar with and giving them more life one of my favorite parts of playing Breath of the Wild is being able to go to like the little towns go to encounter all these little side characters that have their own lives that have their own like little side quests that I like to do it was more lived in than Breath of the Wild like I love Breath of the Wild I feel like Tears of the Kingdom especially when it comes to like the townspeople the characters the environment it feels more like you you're stepping into this world and everyone has their own thoughts and it's just like everything has kind of changed a little bit where you're going to these like familiar places and then you it's like a little bit of like there's some some like story behind how things have changed since you last visited since we last played in Breath of the Wild which I really love and love exploring like it makes me want to explore more I want to get to know more of these characters and just help them out that's like one of my main things with like playing Tears of the Kingdom. A lot of quality and life improvements so such as um, there's a cooking book which you, when you cook things you're able to like see what the recipe is and you're like it keeps track of the recipe and like what are the qualities the benefits of it which I think is something that I didn't really realize that I needed in Breath of the Wild until they like decided to add it in here which I love it makes the cooking so much easier for me because I always forget what I cooked and how I cooked it. <laughs> One of the other things I noticed is it's keeping track of the character profile so if there's a really prominent important character it'll give you a character profile and tell you exactly what they're doing why you're talking to them or like their backstory which I 
I think is like adds a little bit more extra into the environment. And it's really expanded more on the map. Um, I don't want to give spoilers, but they have the Sky Islands and then you have Hyrule and it's just so much to explore. There's so many different areas to like um, find new things. Yeah, and I also feel like with this one, it really helps you to think more outside of the box, how you're able to interact with some of these elements that they've given you. You know, you have these new abilities where you're able to craft materials, to craft different vehicles, anything that you can think of. Also be able to reverse time, ascend, and it's vastly different from what you got in Breath of the Wild. I really love the elements. Because it helps me to really think about how can I come at this situation? How can I come at this problem? I think that's probably the best part. Like that's my, what, that's always my favorite thing about Breath of the Wild is there's never a one way to solve a thing. There's like when it comes to like the shrines, especially when it comes to like the crafting your weapons, which I think is a really cool element because even though your weapons break, you're able to strengthen them, figure out creative ways of melding different things you have together. And that is another quality of life improvement because I have so many like monster parts, so many random things that like from foraging that I have in my inventory in Breath of the Wild that I don't couldn't figure out a use for. But I feel like they really made it so that in this um, in Tears of the Kingdom, everything matters. Like everything that you're collecting, you can find a use for it. You can find a reason to use it. You could add it to your weapon. You could put it in your cooking. You can um, put it on your shield. Like it's just so interesting and so much fun. It's such a very cool mechanic that they decided to add into the game. And I really have no bad things to say about it, honestly. The one bad thing I would say is you can't pet dogs. Yeah, I really wanted to know, I really was hoping they'd let you pet the dogs at the stables, but you can't pet them, but it's fine, it's okay. <laughs> but other than that, I've really been enjoying it so far. This is such a great sequel. If you're wondering if you wanna pick it up or not, I definitely recommend it. Also check out my gameplay preview. I have of Zelda, I'll put it in the cards. Thank you so much for watching. We made this far into the video and I hope all of you guys are doing well. Have a wonderful day as always. Bye.